Hey everybody and uh, welcome to I suppose a special pickups video and a brief brief look back uh, yesterday which was the arcade the arcade club um, in Bury the YouTubers meet up and what a fantastic time what a fantastic time as it always is um, you know uh, there were a few of us that went we had a great laugh uh, sung some beers uh, I think we were drinking all day long um, but none of us none of us got even slightly drunk I don't think we just paced ourselves throughout the day and um, basically what happened was um, the you know the, the arcade club in Bury um, that was the venue and the date 14th of May we all agreed and yeah we all basically met up uh, big game Al and his new lady friend Kaz, Karen, uh, were lovely to meet. Um, they went, they got there the night before, they got there on the Friday. Um, and then I set off pretty early on Saturday morning, met up with those two, and then we went to the Weatherspoons. I'd already had some breakfast, but um, Al and Kaz had a bit to eat in, in the Weatherspoons. Um, I just had a pint. Um, and then we, we had a wander around basically I needed a post office, went to the post office um, and then we made his way to Arcade Club which you know I think we got there about half eleven the, the venue opened at eleven and then what happened was um, as the day went on you know we, we the others met up with us um, we, we had a quick look round the first floor then we went up to the second floor, had a quick look round again um, and then Al said let's just go to straight to the third floor where the old machines are, the old, all the classics and um, he says it'll be quieter because the first and second floor were absolutely chocker uh, mainly we, we young uns but um, yeah we went to the top floor it was still not as busy but you know um, it had, had filled up a little bit and I had a few games on the machines up there and I think I was watching Al play Burger Time um, uh, you know we've been there been there a while uh, I was watching Al play Burger Time and all of a sudden Eddie appeared Roll X car and I was like oh Eddie <laughs> and I didn't realise it was nine on one o'clock um, time in there just absolutely flies by yeah so Eddie had fetched Dylan with him. Dylan was downstairs on the second floor, I think, playing the candy cabs, the, the, the schmups. Um, and then a bit later on, probably not too long, um, Paul F. Inkton Orvener turned up. Uh, again, it was lovely, lovely to see Paul again. I've not seen Paul since the road trip, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, it was nice to see everybody. Um, there were a few other people that were expected um, to come but for whatever reason they weren't able to make it which is a shame um, because you know it's always nice more the merrier as I say but yeah we, we, we still had a, had a cracking time um, about three o'clock we, we came out of the arcade club in fact it must have been right, right around about three o'clock when Paul turned up because he didn't really get a go on anything he's basically uh, got in, got his wristband on and then we, we went out and we had basically just had a little wonder about um, in the game shops, charity shops uh, in CEX. Uh, had a bite to eat. Um, I didn't, We didn't have too much myself, Al and Paul, though Paul's, um, but he did quite have a lot on his plate. Um, they did portion by half and full and the dish that I got they said they didn't have enough for the full dish so they just, I just got ah and that, that, that was still a fair bit there when Paul got his like crap yeah, glad I didn't go for full then I'm glad they didn't have enough um, but even so because we we were going for a curry later on um, but yeah uh, Eddie Eddie and Dylan just had a bite to eat and then we headed back to the arcade club and we spent you know quite a long time in the arcade club then mainly particularly myself mainly on the top floor where all the classics are um 
I ventured down into the first floor and we were at, I think I had to go on Luigi's Mansion where you got these like vacuums and I wasn't really impressed with it. Um, I went to the second floor for a couple of goals on the pinball machines. Um, but like Al said, because Al, Al come along and he was trying them, a lot of them are not working. It's a shame. Uh, a few of the arcade machines weren't working as well, which is always a shame. But you've got to expect these things, you know, they, um, they're getting some hammer. They're on every single day. But yeah, what a fantastic time. Um, while we were in the arcade club, we just kept drinking. It was red hot in there. <laughs> Um, they were nice to come out into like the the, the the drinking area, especially the third floor, the top floor, the drinking area where it offered a little bit of a respite from inside the games rooms. Um, I played loads of games. Um, I played my usual Outrun, Bomb Jack. Uh, there was no space area. Slightly disappointed with that. I know they've got the de deluxe cab at Leeds Arcade Club. So I, I, even the stand-up version I'd, uh, I'd have appreciated, but it weren't, weren't to be. Uh, at least I didn't see it. Um, I didn't even see the Patmans um, because uh, Kaz, she she loves Patman, Patmania, Patland, all, all, all the Patman variants. She loves those. She was playing those. She, she told me this morning she was playing those, but I never saw them. Um, I suppose in a way I'm, I'm a bit of a routine person me and, and I know last time I, I don't know if I ventured into the middle so much I think I just scoured the outside where where I think most of the, the good ones are um, before we before it were time to leave I mean it didn't show up while 11 o'clock but I think it was nigh on half past nine maybe um, we it was Dylan he suggested he says come on let's have four player on there Hypersports, and I remember playing Hypersports on the Commodore 64, um, but never really had much of a go on the arcade. And what a laugh, four player, it were a blast. Me, Dylan, Eddie, and Al, we were first, first up, or first round. Um, and Dylan's pretty good on it, but Eddie, Eddie, what a, what a bit of a dark horse, <laughs> and he ended up winning it. and it was close, it was close between him and Dylan. And then on the second round, um, pretty much the same people except uh, Paul stepped in for Al. Al was busy playing another game. Um, and Eddie won again. <laughs> Gotta admit, Eddie, you, you, you are a good games player. But um, I mean, I don't play games that much, but I could really get into track and field. This It's, it's completely different when you're playing uh, multiplayer like that with with friends uh, then it is playing solo um, I've got to admit but it, is, it is much more fun we had a blast on that definitely something to to think about in future when, when we go to the arcade club again um, which I believe might might be as soon as next month for Paul's birthday so fingers crossed something transpires so what did I pick up well the first thing that I picked up I think uh, yeah because obviously when I met up with uh, Al and Kaz at the very start when I got there, went down to Al's and mine. And my car and just knocked them all over. Um, so he says, I've got a few bits for you. He says, and also some from Jim, Cabana, Jim, Cabana, Cabana. I don't know how to pronounce it, Jim. But um, got me some fantastic stuff. Al had posted the photo of some games in the WhatsApp group and says anybody want these and I said I'll, I'll take them because I've, I've never really played them I think the I think the first person shoot was if they're not they've always they've always interested me and just never played them well first up he uh, he must have had this knocking about this is Ninja Master on the Spectrum on the Firebird Silverbird range so that'll go into my specky collection so I am, I am uh, dipping my toes into the Silverbird range for the Spectrum and Amstrad. But they also give me these and they're the Tom Clancy's. I have had the Tom Clancy's on the PS2, but I thought I'll try it on, uh, on the more modern consoles. So here we've got the PS4 version, the Division. I've got Tom Glancy's. 
Rainbow Six Vegas on the 360. We've got Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter on the 360. Um, and then, is that the same? Is this the same? Ah, right, yeah. So we've got both the same game. Um, but one is the Game of the Year edition. So thank you very much for those out nicely. And then Jim Corbana had um, some Call of Duty stuff for me collection. The first one is this, it's a Call of Duty Black Ops, a history of Black Ops. What a fantastic book. It's just got all sorts of uh, artwork, screenshots. Um, I've never seen this, I don't know if it came as part of some kind of pack, but either way, there's no barcode on the back, so I'm assuming it did, but that's lovely. And then, look at these. Little, these are pin badges. The Call of Duty. Um, let me put my gigs on, so I can't see shit without my gigs. Tombstone Soda and Pit D Flopper drinks. Cob drinks. They're fantastic. Um, again, for me, for my COD collection. And this is a limited edition. I don't know. It's a game station. It's some kind of probably um, a voucher, gift card. It's uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three uh, themed, branded. Um, again, that's, that's fantastic. And then we've got this. This is this is brilliant. It's Call of Duty World War II Officer Limited Edition Mini Cable Guy. This is fantastic, Jim. Um, I'm not going to get it out because look at that. I might have to get it out. Oh, that's better. Lighting's better. I think it's um, the phone stand. I think he holds the phone in his arms. That's absolutely brilliant. World War II as well. Because I do love the Call of Duty World War II. I really do. Um, thank you very much for those, Jim. They are, they are fantastic. Lovely additions to my COD collection. Really appreciate it. Oh, the one I'm posted as well. Um, I, won't, I won't fold it all. But yeah, it's called Jump 4 um, poster. So, I had an idea which I, I, I bounced off Al um, about displaying the posters in my lockup. I'm in mesh above. Don't know how I'm going to do it, but it's something I'm going to look into, perhaps. Um, off Eddie, I got, give me this. This is a, a loose Master System car. This is Asterix and the Secret Mission. You did have two of them, Master System games, but they were boxed. Um, I think I already had them anyway, uh, Eddie, I believe. But even so, I, I only really want the loose carts. Boxes just take up too much space. We went to CEX and just some cheap ones. I got this one because it's only £12. It's in a, it's the gold edition. This is Greedfall. Paul did tell me what kind of game I'm alive, but I forgot already. Um, Dylan wants a, a gameplay uh, stream of this. Ah. <laughs> it's not my kind of game. Now this could be Pio 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 and Tetris 2. This one. How much was this? Oh, this was in-game. This I've been done according to Al. $15.99 in-game. Um, CX sell it for eight. Eight quid, but never mind. Um, yeah, just puzzle games. Just, you know, put onto the PS5. They're not, they're not showing the capabilities of the PS5 at all. Not many games are. Um, but yeah, other little puzzle games. Um, we had the... <laughs> <laughs> these face masks done um, and we all had to wear them we took a, we took a photo like a group photo um, and it's funny because Dana now is, is the most famous face in Bury trust me on that <laughs> his face is everywhere um, what a laugh and Eddie, Eddie says you want these I says yeah so I'm going to put them up in my lock up you're going to be uh, immortalised in my lock up Dana How's that for you, eh? Um, yeah, <laughs> I said it, so I'm going to stick them up somewhere. 
Uh, I've got, what have I got here? Right, I've got some pickups from eBay. I'm just running short of time. My battery's nearly dead on this. So I'm having to speed run a little bit. Um, just a couple of eBay purchases. One for the GBA on the Commodore 64. GBH, GBH not GBA. GBH is the budget label of Gremlin Graphics. This is Impossible. Um, you know, not one of the best money malls, if I'm honest. I think they kind of started losing the, the true money mall from this point onwards. I think it possible more. I think I've, I'm sure I've got that on the Jaguar as well. But to me, the original money malls are the, are, are the best. And then my good friend Mark Judge Drock saved me an absolute killing. Um, I almost. I almost paid a silly amount for a game called Gold Dragon's Domain. It's um, on the players uh, players label on the Commodore 64 and I showed him it and I always check with him first really if it's something like that. He wanted £140 in this guy. Um, in fact he wanted more, I think I put an offer in for £140. Because um, you know I I was led to believe that it was very rare or hard to find. Well, not led to believe, but um, Mark did say to me, I think, you know, that might be one of the hard, trickier ones to find or or pricier ones. Um, but not that pricey, and it's not that rare. Um, because, luckily, Mark shouted at me, <laughs> do not buy that, ignore that seller, block him, because he's a rip-off merchant. And he linked me this, um, as you can see there, it's got Gold Dragon's Domain in this one a pack and it cost me £25 plus a couple of pounds postage. Um, but yeah, I mean I've got Gold Dragon's Domain for, you know, a third of the price of more than even. A lot, you know, a lot better saving and I've also got three other games to go into the collection. Um, I think I do already own Barbarian, but I think my copy, uh, the spine's a bit ripped, a bit, bit crap. So this will be a, this will be a, a, you know, replacement. Um, but yeah, we've got Barbarian on the Kicks label. We've got Gauntlet 2 also on the Kicks label. They've got this oddity, Gates of Dawn. Don't even know what what publisher that is. It just says programmed by Charles Goodwin, with flash load. Um, is it on the cassette? No, there's no, there's no publisher. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the publisher. Might have to do a bit of research for that. But, yeah. Um, some nice little Commodore 64 editions. Yeah, and that's it. Um, like I say, it's just mainly to talk about the Arcade Club. What a fantastic event. Um, we had a laugh. We had, you know, we, we sat down at times, had a good chat. Um, it's just fantastic. I, I love it. And I don't know if I keep saying it, but that aspect, the social aspect, actually meeting up, up with other people is what it's all about. It really is. Um, and, and in my opinion, everything else, it don't come close. Don't come close to it. You can chat all you like on, on, on WhatsApp and stuff, but it's actually meeting the people. In, you know and actually uh, seeing people in, in in the flesh so to speak um yeah it's a lot better it's a lot it's, it's a lot of fun it is um but yeah hopefully um it won't be too long before you know doing all this again um and, and more um just reminder the road trip is still going ahead in september we did have a little kind of a little brief chat about it if you're interested, um, you know, have a word with, you know, email myself, Paul, Paul Inknorvener, Eddie, or Al. Um, all, you know, all four of us are pending for this for this road trip in September. Um, I can't remember the exact dates off the top of my head. But yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. Uh, even if you can't come for the full, full, I think it's four or five days that we go. 
um, just come up and meet us for an hour, drink, whatever, um, if you can. Uh, it's a northern road trip this year, so really looking forward to that. But hopefully, you never know, there might be there should be another arcade club or two before then. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, see you later.